Power supplies have an enormous impact on the sound quality, but also as the production cost. Therefore it can be beneficiary for sound quality to replace the standard power supply by a higher grade one, even if it's built in, like here with the Blue Sound Node 2 and 2i. The Note 2 has had three incarnations, the 2, the 2i and the N130. The power supply upgrade on the review here is for the 2 and the 2i, but there is also a version for the N130 available at about the same price. When in this video I speak of the Note 2i, yeah, that also goes for the Note 2. Talking about the price, the kit as reviewed here will set you back 1060 Polish slotty excluding sales tax and shipping, which boils down to approximately 300 euros for delivery in Europe including VAT and shipping. If you have an audiophile 5 volt 2 ampere DC power supply, you can buy only the circuit board that replaces the Blue Sound power supply for 350 slotty. There is also a kit with a switch mode power supply for 470 slotty. The exact prices depend on where you live. Let's see where to use the kit. This is a diagram of how the Note 2i is used. The Note is connected to the amp over a pair of RCA cables and to the network over a network cable or Wi-Fi. A tablet, smartphone or computer is used to operate the Node. Normally I don't draw power cables, but in this instance this is necessary. The power cable that came with the Node is connected to the wall outlet. When the internal power supply is replaced by the power interface, on which later more, the external linear power supply is connected to the wall outlet and the DC output to the DC power inlet that now is where the mains inlet was as can be seen here. As said the power supply circuit board has to be replaced by the interface board. This is a simple job well described in the English and Polish manual. As long as you don't forget to unplug the mains cable before you start, use the right size screwdrivers and follow the instructions, there is not much that can go wrong. But do realize that if you make a mistake, there is no warranty to fall back on. The interface board is the same size as the original power supply and is screwed in the same way. What's then left is to connect the external power supply. The PD Creative power supply is available in 5V and 12V versions, both capable of delivering 2.5 amps continuous and 3 amps up to 60 seconds. I was sent the 5V version since that is needed for the Note 2i. The black metal housing measures 120 by 215 by 52 mm and weighs 1.7 kilos. The front only offers the PD Creative logo. On the rear we see the power switch that activates a soft start procedure with a 3 second startup time. Next to it the fuse holder and the IEC mains inlet. On the right the avionics grade GX16 connector that carries the 5 volts DC output. An IEC power cable and a DC cable are included. Near the front we see the 50 VA toroidal transformer, the 12V version has a 70 VA transformer. A bulkhead shields off the stray magnetics from the electronics. On the other side of the separator we see the rectifier that converts the AC from the transformer to a rough DC version. That is filtered by five 4700 microfarad Nichigon capacitors regulated down in two steps to 5 volts by these two voltage regulators and sent to the output connector. Every single power supply is measured before shipment. The measurement graph is in the box. This came with a review sample. The Note 2i is standard equipment in my setup 2B. It is connected to the Marantz KI Pearl light over no longer available Siltec London RCA interlinks. The speakers are Acoustic Energy Radiance 1, connected over Kimber 4PR loudspeaker cable. 
They are supported by the RHEL T5 subwoofer that is connected to the loudspeaker terminals on the Marans using the cable that came with the sub. The network switch is the Uptone Audio Ether Regen with Uptone Audio UltraCaps 1.2 power supply. The equipment is housed in a target rig. Normally the Note 2i is connected directly to the wall outlet. When the PD Creative power supply is used, that is connected to the wall outlet with the DC output of the power supply connected to the interface board that replaced the internal standard power supply in the Note 2i. Compared to the original power supply, the lows opened up more and were more powerful. The mid-range is somewhat more open and the highs sounded cleaner. The stereo image was more in focus and the overall sound was more relaxed. Since the Note 2 now had a DC input, I could also try other audiophile power supplies. First was the S-Booster BOTW PMP Eco 5 volts. That opened up the mid-range even slightly more. Then I tried the Ferrum Hipsters power supply set for 5 volts, although this is a ridiculous combination price-wise since it's over twice the price of the Note 2i. But it showed what power supplies do for the sound quality for it sounded better on about every aspect of the sound. Lows had more texture, mid showed more resolution, highs were again cleaner while the stereo image widened with more focus compared to the PS Creative solution. I don't think I would spend 1200 euros on the Ferron Hipsters power supply, 100 euro on the interface board and 600 euro on a Note 2i or Note N130, the current model. Nothing wrong with the individual components, it's just not a right combination. For the same money you could buy the NAD-C658 streamer that also uses the Blue Sound streaming system. See my review. The strong point of the PD Creative solution is its price, which is half the price of the current Note N130. That makes it a valid upgrade in sound quality. Replacing the standard switch mode power supply with the interface board is rather simple if you again first unplug the mains cable and use the right size of screwdrivers. In doubt, ask someone else to do it for you. For instance, at a local repair cafe. See the link in the top right corner, in notes below and at the end of this video. And that brings us to the end of this video. As usually, there will be a new video next Friday at 5 pm Central European time. If you don't want to miss that, subscribe to this channel or follow me on the social media so you will be informed when new videos are out. Help me reach even more people by giving this video a thumb up or link to this video on the social media. It is much appreciated. Many thanks to those viewers that support this channel financially, especially in this time when views are up while ad money is down. If that makes you feel like supporting my work too, the links are in the comments below this video on YouTube. I am Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you in the next show or on the HBproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.